Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve another word problem on whole numbers. And this problem has got a table in it, so it's a little bit different. Not that much different, but just a bit different, okay? All right, so here goes the question. The table below shows the number of travelers that arrived at an airport last week. And then there's this table, okay? And then we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. I'll, I'll teach you how to read a table and all that. But first, let's read the rest of the question, okay? Then it says, there were twice as many travelers on Saturday as on Sunday. And twice as many on Friday as on Saturday. So then how many travelers arrived on Friday? Okay, let's see how to read a table first, okay? So let's read this table first. All right, so here's the table and there are two rows in this table because okay? a row is this whole thing that I'm marking in red okay so this whole thing from here to here on the top is called the top row or the header row or row number one so let's for now just write it as row number one and everything below it this row is called row number two all right so this table has got two rows there are other tables that have got more number of rows as well. So for this table for now, there are uh, two rows in this table and the top row or the header row or row number one tells you the names of the days of the week. Okay, so there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and, and the row below it gives you the number of travelers that arrived at an airport last week. Now just see this part, okay, just this part that I'm marking in purple. Now, this has got Monday on top and 998 below it. So, what this tells you is that on Monday, there were 998 travelers who arrived at the airport. Then, if you move to the right, you have Tuesday and then 498 below it. So, what that means is that on Tuesday, there were 498 travelers. Then, on Wednesday, there were 749 travelers. On Thursday, there were 1,500 travelers. On Friday, we don't know because there's a question mark. So, we don't know how many travelers arrived on Friday and actually that's what we have to find out. Then, on Saturday also, we don't know how many travelers arrived and same for Sunday. Then, in the end, there is this column here, this thing that says total, okay? And what is below total is this number 16,240. Now, what that means is that if you add up all these numbers for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and all that, so if you added up all the, the travelers that arrived for that week, so the number of travelers that arrived on Monday, plus the number of travelers that arrived on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, then the total of that will be 16,240. Now, we don't know what these question marks stand for because these are unknown right now, but the total, this total here, 16,240, includes these numbers as well, okay? And later, we're going to find out what these numbers are. All right, so let's get to solving this problem then. So now what we do know is how many passengers or how many travelers arrived on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And we know the total for the whole week. What we don't know is how many of them arrived on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So how about we start with a model diagram. Okay, so I'm going to make a model diagram for the number of travelers. So here is the model diagram for the number of travelers. Okay, so this first box, let's say that it represents the number of passengers that, or the number of travelers that arrived on Monday. So we have 400 and, oh sorry, 998 travelers that arrived on Monday. So let's paint it, maybe you know, some color. Let's paint it pink. Now this is for Monday, so I'm going to write down M for it. Monday, M for Monday. Then on Tuesday, there were 498 travelers. So I'm going to make a smaller box for Tuesday because 498 is smaller than 998. So 498 for Tuesday. Let's give it another color. Say purple. Okay, and this is for Tuesday. So let's write down Tuesday, a T. Okay, on Wednesday, there were 749. So let's make 749 here. Let's give it a color... Let's give yellow. Okay. So this is your Wednesday. Then there was Thursday. Thursday we had 1,500. 
Okay, let's put down the number for Wednesday first, 749. And Thursday, there were 1,500 travelers. I'm going to... I made a bigger box because 1,500 is slightly bigger than the rest of the numbers. Okay, then on Thursday... Oh, so sorry. So that's Thursday. Now on Friday, we don't know what the number of passengers were or travelers were. So we're just going to put a question mark for that. For Saturday is also a question mark. And for Sunday is also a question mark. So that's Saturday and that's Sunday. Now this model is for the number of travelers. Okay, so I'm going to write that down here. Travelers. All right. Now let me also put some color for Friday, for Saturday, and for Sunday. Alright. So that's your Friday, that's your Saturday, and that's your Sunday. Alright, now what else do we know? What, uh, what, what's the other figure that we have? What, what's the other number that we have in the table? We have the 16,240. So what we know is this whole thing, the entire thing, or the total number of travelers for the whole week was 16,240. Now, if you break down this table into two parts, say one part is this from Monday to Thursday, and another part is this from Friday to Sunday. If I break this down into two parts, then what do we know? Okay, if I shade this brown, so this guy is brown and we know what this is equal to, right? All you do is you add up the numbers for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and then you know together how much they're equal to. And then the second part here that I'm shading in purple, we don't know that one. So what we have here is let me draw another model diagram. Okay? So it's more, more obvious to you. So let me redraw this model diagram, okay? What I have here is two parts. Let me put only two parts in here. Okay, now let me color this brown and the other one as purple. Now what is this brown part equal to? The brown part is the sum of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. The number of travelers who arrived on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday all together. And the purple is for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Okay, now we know that together Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is equal to 998 plus 498 plus 749 plus 1500 or 1500. What we don't know is what the number of travelers for Friday, Saturday and Sunday were. Because we don't know how many arrived on Friday, how many did on Saturday and how many did on Sunday. But one other thing that we do know is the total number of passengers for the whole week or the total number of travelers. Sorry, I keep saying passengers. So the total number of travelers for the whole week and that we know is 16,240. Now this is your travelers, okay? So from here, can you find out what the purple part is equal to? Simple, right? So what you do is you sum, you find the sum of the, the individual numbers for the brown part and then subtract that from the total. So let's do that sum. Let's do the working here. So we have 998 plus 498 plus 749 plus 1500. Now that's equal to... 8 and 8, 16 and 9, 25. Carry the 2 over. 9 and 2, 11 and 9, 20 and 4, 24. Carry the 2 over. Then you have 9 plus 2, 11 plus 4, 15 plus 7, 22 plus 5, 27. 7 and carry the 2 over. So you have 3,745. Alright, so what we have is 3,745 and that's what this guy over here, the brown part is equal to. So this is equal to 3,745. So the total number of passengers or travelers who arrived on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday all together was 3,745. Now can you find out what the purple part is equal to then? Simple. Just subtract. 3,745 from 
the total, which is 16,240. So you do the work in here, 16,240 minus 3,745. Now how much is that equal to? 5, 9, 4, 2, and 1. So it's 12,495. So then this purple part or this question mark is equal to 12,495. Now look at this table. From the table, in the table what we have is this guy here, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This guy, this, all these three question marks. Together, they're equal to 12,495. That's what this means. So all these question marks, these three question marks, are together equal to 12,495. Now what we have to find out is what they are equal to individually. Okay, so maybe the question has some hints for us. Now the question says that there were twice as many travelers on Saturday as on Sunday and twice as many on Friday as on Saturday. So how about we simply draw a model diagram? All right, let's just clear all this and draw a model. All right, so let's uh, draw a model for this one here. Yeah, it says twice as many travelers on Saturday as on Sunday. So let's assume that this is your Sunday. Okay, so if this block is how many travelers arrived on Sunday, let's paint it blue. Okay, so if this block is for how many travelers arrived on Sunday, then how many blocks will we need for Saturday? It says there were twice as many travelers on Saturday, so then it's simple. We just put two blocks. If one block represents how many travelers arrived on Sunday, so then obviously the number of travelers that arrived on Saturday must be two blocks, right? Because there were twice as many on Saturday as on Sunday. All right, next up is there were twice as many on Friday as on Saturday. So if on Saturday there were two blocks, then on Friday there will be four blocks, right? So one, two, and three, four. That's for Friday. So this is your Friday. Okay, now what else do we know? We don't know how much each of these blue blocks is. So this is a question mark, but we do know one thing that together all these blue blocks are equal to 12,495, which is what we just found out. So this is equal to, this guy here is equal to, just this is equal to altogether 12,495. So then if 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six and seven blue blocks are equal to 12,495 travelers. Then how many travelers is one block equal to? So we have seven blue blocks or seven units are equal to 12,495. So then one unit is obviously equal to 12,495 divided by seven. How much is that equal to? Okay, I'm just going to use a calculator for that. So we have 12,495 divided by 7. And that's equal to 1,785. So one blue block represents 1,785 travelers. So then what is the question asking you to find out? That how many travelers arrived on Friday? So Friday had four blocks, four blue blocks. That means that four units four blue units. So four blue units are obviously then equal to four times 1,785. That's equal to 7,140. All right, so that's how many travelers arrived on Friday, 7,140. Okay, so that's that about this word problem. For more word problems and for practice exercises and to find out how good you're getting at math, go to www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.